Hey guys, this is Maria from ChasingTheNow.wordpress.com and I just wanted to take a second to let you know that if you're buying the prepackaged already washed spinach at the store, you should stop and buy the spinach that's fresh and just take a few minutes to clean it yourself because it's easy and it's more affordable. So Okay, the first step is going to be to take your spinach and pick it off the to pick the leaves off of the stem and then you're going to place it in a salad spinner. So I've already went ahead and done this. This is one uh, big fresh package. Um, usually I buy it really fresh, not sealed or anything in a bag. Unfortunately my grocery store only had the already washed kind this time, but I have bought already washed before and found dirt in there and if I don't have to eat dirt I would rather not so I'm still gonna go ahead and wash this spinach even though it looks pretty clean to me. So after you've got it in the salad spinner I go ahead and fill it with cold water and I fill it pretty full, maybe three-fourths of the way full. Definitely try to cover the spinach. Ah, so you can see it's Okay, not three-fourths, but my spinach is almost completely covered with the water. So, and I'm actually going to spin this in my sink in case any water starts flying. I would rather not make a mess. So then you're just going to pop your salad spinner top on, just like that, and spin. I like to spin in one direction for a little while, and then turn it into the other direction just to be thorough it probably actually doesn't do anything but it doesn't hurt to try I'm gonna give it one more go this way I'm gonna go faster be careful if you start going really fast because you might sling some water Okay, so I'm going to take the top off and just set it to the side here. And I'm going to pull my straining basket out first and kind of shake some of that water off. That's less spinning we have to do to dry the spinach. Set it to the side. And, oh, well, I'm glad that I took the time to clean this because I don't know if you can see it. Here, I might make you sick with it. But there's definitely some floaties down it. Not that I want to have, or not food, but <laughs> because this spinach was pre washed already, though, I think one cycle is good. If you're buying the really fresh, straight off the farm spinach, then you might want to run it through one more time. Um, I usually do two cycles. But for today's purposes, this will do. Then I'm going to stick my uh, straining basket back down in my salad spinner and put the lid back on and give it another go. This time, we're actually going to be getting all of the water off, hopefully. So I go pretty fast with this one. And in the other direction. Okay. And so I'm going to pull my straining basket out. And as you can see, we've got a oh, pretty good amount of water in there. So I dump that. Put my basket back in and let's spin it again, see if we can get any more water out. Alright, 
wonderful. I think my spinach is pretty dry. A little damp, but a little bit more water. I'm actually going to give it one more go. Uh, it's still a little more damp than I want. Okay, that's definitely good enough. And then just shake the water out. Okay, so I'm going to remove my straining basket and set it to the side here. The next thing I'm going to do is I've already prepared a container. This is uh, just a container I bought at the store. It's not anything special for spinach. And I'm going to put a paper towel down in it. Um, the paper towel is going to absorb any excess moisture the spinach might have on it, help it stay fresh. And then I just take my hands and go ahead and dump my spinach in from the strainer. Um, if you want to keep the spinach fresh for longer, so maybe you're going to be eating it over the period of more than two or three days, then I would suggest to change out your paper towel um, after two or three days. That way if any moisture is absorbed you don't have to worry about um, you don't have to worry about mold starting to grow or any weird stuff like that. So as you can see this is super easy and there's no reason to buy the prepackaged processed stuff at the store because you can buy from your local farmers market or maybe your grocery store even sells uh, spinach that's not been pre-washed and stuff. It's so easy to do and it's such a time, it's, it's just a little bit of time commitment. This maybe took what, less than 10 minutes, but you're saving money and you're supporting your local economy. So thanks for watching. I hope you've learned a little bit and I hope you'll give it a try.